This is the camera, this is the way it came today, just received. So, here we go. As I said, we've been waiting for this for over a year. It is a dive camera. That's how it's come in the box. Um, looks good. Uh, invoice. And air box. Uh, at, first, at first look, it's well packaged. It's got all the features on it, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, App Store, Google Play. Yeah, looks good. So um, we'll get it open, we'll have a look. See what's inside. So, here we go. Nothing out of the ordinary there. This is the, the case. Uh, I'll put that aside here. Uh, some of the mounts. Here. Here, similar to a GoPro mount. Instructions. You can see it there. Quick start guide, uh, some stickers, yeah, and um, last but not least, the uh, the camera. Wow, looks good. Um, it's got a, a couple of extras here for O rings. Obviously, it's a dive computer, so. Um, O-rings will need to be changed every so often. Uh, it comes with a lanyard for um, obviously with the, if it disconnects from your from your mount. USB. It's not a standard um, mini USB charge here. It's it's your normal USB for your laptop or or wall charging system. But the, the USB connection here is um, it's generic to the to the camera itself. Um, <clears throat> Gel, obviously, um, some sort of silicone gel for for greasing the O-rings. Um, yeah, it looks good. Nice little box. I'd probably not use it. You wouldn't take that out to a dive site. Camera. Wow, it's beautiful. Looks good. It's got a, uh, obviously I haven't seen this before. So the different features. You've got your. Um, your USB and your OLED here. Um, I don't even know if I have to charge it. Here's your your display. Sorry, your 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 screen. Uh, that's obviously your 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 click for the um the functionality of camera pictures and so on. Um, your charging point, your uh, micro SD and your OLED. And I'm guessing that this is the um, the winder for the function that you need uh, while you're videoing or taking pictures, settings, and so on. Um, it feels nice. Um, it's well built. Looks lovely, to be honest with you. Uh, I've just because this came late last week. Uh, I was on a dive trip in Greece, so. I went out and I bought a a a hero session just for snorkeling. Obviously not for diving, you couldn't dive with this, so I bought it just for snorkeling and, and water use. So there's the comparison of um the parallels towards a, a GoPro. Obviously a lot a lot of people are familiar with, with GoPro. Uh I suppose another comparison is a this is an iPhone five. So it's just around the same length as an iPhone 5. Um, weight, it's meaty enough, it has a bit of weight in it. Um, yeah, it's, it, it is heavier than the than the GoPro Session. It's around the same length as, a, as an iPhone 5. And um, 
yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm just dying to test it now, dying to get it onto a dive and uh, see how it goes. Looks looks really cool. So um, this is the power lens, formerly um, Octospot. That's what it was called originally, but they changed the name. It's now called power lens camera. Um, looks really, really good, feels good. Uh, getting it charged up and stuff and, uh, and getting the SD card in is going to be the next um, next option for me. But the slider feels good for, for your your options of camera, video, uh, off, and this is for locking. Yeah, it'll take a bit of getting used to as regards to uh, getting used to the functions of how it works. But it looks good. I'm happy. We'll see how it performs now. I'll keep you updated on the performance of the camera uh, versus the likes I have of of a GoPro. I have another GoPro for for uh, for diving, so we'll keep you updated.